Hello, brown ladies out there. Welcome back to our channel. Miss Kevin Stage here. Deandra Giselle. And we are here filming our February favorites. Favorites videos are just basically whatever you're obsessing over, whatever you're liking, you're crushing over through that month. So we're here to share a few of ours. Yes. So, wanna go first? Sure. Um, I have a few. One of them is actually from the dollar store. It is called Broadway Strip Lashes. You will find a lot of these eyelashes or the brand Broadway at the beauty supply, but not necessarily this adhesive. Mm. And this one seems to be stronger. Damn. You guys don't judge my life, but um, when I wear strip lashes all day, I used to use like hair glue. She like did. regular hair glue and I didn't take my lashes out because I was very careful when I took it off She's a professional at putting lashes on if you watch <laughs> the last video She puts it in like that. I'm like hold on five minutes later, two minutes <laughs> later Ten minutes later, so I never had that issue, but I do know it's not the best and it leaves that black um, mm. uh, It's so hard to get off your lashes, especially your expensive lashes that you're gonna use over and yeah, over yeah, and over yeah, again yeah. And then I would tear my expensive expensive lashes, lashes trying up. to clean them. Got it. So, but this is called Broadway Dollar Store. Um, I even went on Amazon and found them. Some like some people are selling them for ninety eight cents. Nice. Like it was really inexpensive. Of course, you have to add it on to an already per like another purchase on Amazon. Yeah. So you don't pay Got shipping. It. Got you it. don't want shipping to be more than your product. Absolutely. Um, so this is a uh, Broadway strip lash adhesive. I got clear. Um, it's formaldehyde free and it says dermatologist tested. Honestly, I never paid attention to that. And really, um, my first lady of my church found, found it at the dollar store. So, uh, Broadway lash glue. So my first, um, favorite is this Essie nail polish in the color Ladylike. Um, I've had this actually for a while, but I stopped getting my nails done and I recently, I don't know, I've been going through some job. So I recently just started get, putting, getting them done again and I wanted like a nude color. And I found this again in my collection and I love it. It almost has like a purpley pink undertone. Yeah. And then it's it's almost like gray. It's like gray with like a purpley pink undertone. It's, it's really... It's hard to explain, it's but really I hard love to it. Explain. It is like low-key my favorite. I forgot. I got my nails done the other day and I forgot to bring it with me. So I have a different color on my nails. Otherwise, I would show you. But I do have a picture on my Instagram. Oh, Shout out yeah. to following me on my Instagram. At Miss Kevin on stage. And I showed um, just a picture of them. Because I was just like, like I really... Like this. I know she had me wanting because I usually always give French tip like that's it faithfully faithfully yeah. but I was just like I want to do something different I want to get nude but um, my nail lady does not have Essie so I showed her your Instagram picture mm -hmm. like match as close yeah. as possible to this when you're brown or of some tone of brown you need a bit of that pink something in something your, in in your nude yeah. polish or you need to go completely white because sometimes yeah. white is nice yeah actually I've been thinking about that too so um, this is it. It's Essie. The brand is Essie. The color is ladylike. Again, it's a beautiful color. It's probably suitable for all skin tones, but in reality, um, darker skin tones are brown girls out there. It's harder for us to find a nude that, that works. Yeah. This is one that works. Highly recommended. Go to Target. Get it. So I'm going to do uh, mascara. So I normally don't wear a lot of mascara. Hold on. I want you to show this packaging because okay. e.l.f. Yeah, they're doing it. This looks expensive. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so I normally don't wear a lot of um, mascara, but I got this. I picked this up from CVS, and this is e.l.f., and it does look expensive. It looks so expensive. The like, packaging is it's pretty matte nice. matte black. It's sleek. It feels like it even has, like, not a lot of weight, actually. It's pretty light. But it looks pretty not good. like e.l.f. And it's only $4. Shut your face. Yes. So what I use this for, uh, this is waterproof, lengthening, and volumizing. Perfect, volumizing. perfect, perfect. Um, I use it after I put my lashes on. Then I just... Um, connect my natural lashes mm. with my lash strips so that like sometimes you know like if you do eyeshadow or anything like that it the fallout gets on your lashes mm -hmm. and then it makes it look weird or um, sometimes you didn't get as close to the lash line and you push them and you still see your lashes coming through I use this and I just want to show you guys you do you see like that looks so good I it's love so it sleek. 
they are doing an awesome job and usually when they start changing packaging the price goes up but it's only four yeah that's really good so elf mascara and it's waterproof volumizing um and lengthening mascara elf y'all did that that's like <laughs> really cute packaging uh, yeah really super cute packaging if you're a YouTube person, like, I know we have a YouTube channel, but I am an avid YouTube watcher. Like, it's obsessive. Like, I watch YouTube probably more than I watch TV. Um, and these have been everywhere. Every YouTuber, influencer has been talking about these. And, you know, you always kind of look at them like, y'all are probably sponsored, and that's why everybody's talking about it. But what happened was, Stila knew that these were bomb and they didn't send out PR packages. <laughs> so all the YouTube, not all of them, but I would say a good handful of the YouTubers that you're watching buy them. bought these. Oh wow. And they're using them because they're that bomb, okay? okay. So they're $24 each. I know that's expensive, but they're like these little glitter, what are they called? Stop, you have three of them. I know, and I wanted to go back and get two more. $24. <laughs> but they're so bomb. I'm about to okay, tell you okay, so, so okay, they're called the Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. So I bought three colors. I have the color Rose Gold, M Molten Midnight, and Smoky Storm. And there's another, there's like at least another one or two. The, this is why I like them. It's glitter without the mess. Okay? So you put it on and it's a glitter stick and it gives you that, look at this color, bend it down. Do you That's see, a <laughs> we're gonna have to do like a B-roll. Wait, 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 wait. No, let me just change it. Let me put it like, oh, I like it. Isn't it? It's that glitter look the without gold. the mess. You just swipe it on your eye. And the thing I love about them is that they're movable. So if you put it on and you use your brush, you can, it doesn't like dry down instantly. You can put it on your eye, take your brush, move it where you want it so it doesn't get all glotchy and blotchy and you put too much over here on accident, you can move it around. Okay, but how long does it take for it to dry? Oh, not long. It doesn't, like now it's dry. She just swatched them. This is, uh, what is it called? Smoky? Um, which one are you looking at? Smoky Storm. Smoky Storm. So you can still kind of see through it. So it's definitely a topper. Um, honestly, the hero to me is the rose gold. Yeah. It's it's the prettiest one. But I use the Smoky Storm like almost daily. Like I really, because I really like um, just a little pop on my eyes. It's a look that I, that I personally like. So I use it a lot like right in the center or whenever I'm doing my eye. Just take a little bit. And I use it quite I'm often. I'm so mad at you for showing these to me. Sorry. Oh my god. They're everywhere. And listen, you guys, they're worth the hype. Because I do love glitter. I have a whole thing of glitter. The thing I don't like about glitter is that it's messy. Yeah. Um, it gets everywhere. And sometimes when you put the glue on, because you have to use like an adhesive to get the glitter to yeah. stick. If you don't know what you're doing, then your brush is a mess and it gets all clumpy and it's really hard to move. And it just story. goes from like bad to worse real quick. And listen... I told you guys I'm an enthusiast, enthusiast, I'm not an artist, and I need something easy, and I need something dummy-proof. These are easy. Um, we did an unboxing of this one. First of all, I love Juvia's place. There's like mixed, all of them. There is um, mixed reviews about this company, but I haven't had any issues whatsoever. Um, they just came out with another palette, and I'm like thinking about getting it. Um, but... I have to go back to just these colors. These colors are very They're pigmented. Everything. They're everything. And I use a lot of um, the matte browns and like these these for transition colors. Like I'll use this for my first transition color and then deepen it this way. Um, I use these browns a lot. I always use these for the inner corner of my eyes. Like this palette just has a lot of variety in it one does. and it's it's not very expensive like it's affordable i want to say every time i think the palette is like either like 32 dollars or something mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but then it you'll see it's scratched out and it'll be like 24. and they always they do that. always do that yep. like i've never seen it re actually i've seen this regular price like when it first launched mm -hmm. and then after that it was yep. different um i haven't played very much with um 
I think it's this color right in here. Uh, but all of these, like the purples, and the, the, it's so pretty. Actually, I've tried these, and and y'all know I like a color on my eyes. But even this one, I was like, oh, that's so pigmented. What am I going to do with it? Um, but this is my favorite palette, and I use these almost daily like these ones on the bottom almost daily these ones i kind of play with and it's not it's we're still kind of in fall yeah. winter whatever so uh this is the masquerade by juvia's place um i'm also going to do a favorite this also has mixed reviews it is the Tartius pro palette by Tarte. first of all i just love I Tarte's say, packaging. their packaging is really good they, it looks like it's durable yeah too. it's so it's just sleek and i i think i'm a sucker for this matte black because that's what i loved about the elf packaging and then this very simple gold like i'm a sucker for this but these are the colors Ooh. there um the what are the mixed reviews the i'll tell you the mixed reviews are primarily on i told you guys this before and we talked about this before Matte are very hard to manufacture to yeah. get them buttery to get them creamy um we talked about sometimes that's why customer or companies put um uh talc no 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 not talc um shimmer sometimes companies will put oh, shimmer in to, them yeah. to get it creamy or pigmented that's how they compensate for the fact that they are really hard to manufacture um and these are chalky Meaning they, they fly. fly. Yeah. They fly. You dig your, br you could see it. You can see it in here. You dig your brush in here and colors are chatty. And left. so does, does it do that when you apply it on your eyes? So they don't like, there's not a lot of fallout, but what I do believe that I think is similar to what's the brand that you said their eyeshadow was like baby powder. <laughs> um, oh man. Too Faced. Too Faced. Yeah. Chocolate bar palette. Okay. So the thing about this that I am noticing, specifically this whimsy color, which I love because I love an orange transition color. Yeah, it's my favorite do. thing. And this is almost like a corally orange, which yeah, is okay. why I love it. But when you put it on your eye, it's not as coral as I would like. What is it? Is it, it like a just, brown? It almost turns brown. Like burnt orange, maybe? Not even burnt, because it, it loses pigmentation. It loses mm -hmm. the color. Do you think it depends on the skin tone or just maybe. period? It doesn't really work for me. See, and how that's much is what, that palette? Um, probably $50 or so. Um, and I've pretty much played clearly with these colors here, mm -hmm. as you can see. So like this row right here Has is like, there. yeah, this is my go-to. I use this. I really like this one. I've also been using this one and it shows up a lot better than this one here. This is a beautiful chocolate brown that I use quite often. But let me tell you, would you say the hero? These colors, these metallic shades right here. I was gonna here, say, they look so pretty. They really should have just made these singles. Yeah. They're metallic. Um, they're beautiful. I was they gonna blend say, are you really well. One of them now? I'm wearing the blue one today. The only thing was, um, normally when I wear metallic colors, I always put a base color down and then I put the metallic on. Um, it's just how I personally like to wear it. I didn't do that with these. I did it on purpose because I wanted it to be lighter. Because honestly, if you could get these metallic shades here in singles, I don't know that this palette is really worth it. Um, I am a sucker for a palette that has everything yeah because it's easier to like deal with and like, i am a sucker transport. and this has everything the uh, only thing i wish is that whimsy was a little bit better i don't really play with the other colors but this third row whimsy no filter mod listen mod is my jam okay mm -hmm. it's like a uh i love burgundy colors anyway uh mod is a beautiful color drama is a beautiful color smoked is a dark brown that shows up love it and then urethra nope ethereal Glam, Minx, and Trendy. Beautiful. They're, they're beautiful. Yeah, they look beautiful. When you open the packaging, those are the three that I looked at immediately. Yeah. So. So, yeah, I actually, and that's, I see I wore the colors today, and the only thing I don't like is I feel like they don't stay. I feel like they start to blend. You know what I mean? Yes. And see? I feel like that's that powdery yeah, that's, effect. Yeah. So, it's a mixed review. <laughs> it's a mixed review yeah um if you look online anytime before i buy something i always look online you're gonna see mixed reviews some people they show up beautiful the girl who got me to buy this showed up beautifully and the thing about it is when i put it on in the morning i'm like yes this is why this palette is a pro palette because it's everything and, and then, then by, by the end of the day you can see 
the it, it starts to blend, blend in. start so, marrying together yeah so anyway it is a favorite this month um those are some of the cons about it but yeah i do like it all right so my last uh obsession or favorite for the month is this sephora brand lip gloss bringing me bringing us back to the day where you wore dark brown lip liner and threw a lip gloss over it and was like I'm, I'm popping. In. Yeah. Um, I don't necessarily use it like that. What I use it for is my um, nude, my matte nudes. So I don't really like to be nude and matte, but a lot of times I like how the matte nudes stay on all day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I will put uh, this clear gloss or a gloss. I was using a gloss, but I just recently, if I like the, the tone or the shade of the nude, I've just been putting this over it, and it's been everything. Um, now, there are less expensive. I don't remember how much I spent for on this. Um, there are less expensive ones. What I have to say is, one, this... I don't like a lot of things to have a scent. Mm, you're a sensitive to scent person. Yeah, I don't like it to be on me all day and have like a, a strong scent. And this doesn't. It doesn't have a scent at all. And it's not um, KFC. You won't look like you have KFC. Yeah. Is it yourself. sticky? That's no, the other thing. and it's not sticky. That's, that's important. So I know back in the day, I don't know what it's called. Was it from Lip Smackers? But it was like when you can get cherry yes, and strawberries. Yep, lip Smackers. Yeah, and you could, and you will put them on, and it would just be like, and Gleaming it came on from a roll. here to the universe. Yep. Yeah, and it came on a roll. Like it reminds me of a better version of, of this. That, that's perfect. Yeah. Um, except for it doesn't have the smell, and it's not sticky, and you, your lips won't look like overly greased so i got this from sephora and i love it and i use it in combination with a lot of things i never use it by itself though um i always like a little shift in pigment when i'm wearing uh, my lips so i like a little bit of a tint so that's one of my favorites last uh, favorite for me is this laura mercier she just recently launched her translucent powder in medium deep and i love these so you use this to set or I, I've been oily used, or... I'm using it to set. I use it, I was oily, like for example, child, I just stay oily, okay? But I'm like a little bit oily right here. Even though I just did this, I probably don't have to do it right now because it's not that bad. But I can use it and it just blots it out. That's how I feel about um, MAC's Mineralized Skin Finish. See, the thing I like about this is I feel like, um, I feel like it's a little bit more than max more pigmented mm -hmm. okay because i that's the thing i like about mac um, and it's oil it's oil free. no 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 it's more oil controlling than ah. mineralized skin finish so you know i'm an oily girl so i'm always looking for i need you to do multiple things for me because my skin is so oily all the time so i love listen Mineralized skin finish is my jam, I, and I love it. Yeah. I really do actually love it. But what I find is when I use loose powders, they control my oil better than the mineralized skin finish. So if I use this, like pretty much I was matte all day today until until you came over. Okay. So, um, so it works really, 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 really well. But, um, or no, there's no but. I, I, I'm, this is my jam. I've been using this pretty faithfully. I wouldn't recommend using it if you're highlighting under here. Um, you would use it similar to a Max Mineralized Skin Finish. You would, um, use your Buttercup or whatever, um, like translucent or yellowish powder where you've highlighted and then use that, like, everywhere, everywhere else. else. Um, otherwise it will muddy it or it will just get rid of your it'll highlight. Just, yeah, it'll cancel out your highlight and that'll be a waste of your time. Yeah. Um, so, and I've been, what I do like about this is Laura Mercier has the, the yellow one or the, yeah, yellower one. Um, and they blend. So this melts into your skin. You take your beauty blender, slightly damp, you know, I'm a proponent, dip it into this, stick it on your skin and it melts. Okay. It's a beautiful powder. It's a beautiful powder. I love it. Um, so that is our... No! Last thing before oh. we close. Yeah, I forgot. So this is not makeup related whatsoever. She got to sit back. But um, actually, you were watching it first. And then I started watching it. And I binged uh, the new show, This Is Us. Like, I just have to say that the couple... First of all, it was good to see Mandy Moore. Like, uh, yeah, I do I love haven't Mandy. seen. I haven't seen her in forever. That was number one. Two, I feel like they talk about 
all Everything. like all the problems that families go through. Absolutely. And I just love their love. I love listening, you guys. Okay, we're gonna start from the beginning. First of all, if you don't haven't heard of the show, the show is called This Is Us. It is on NBC. If you haven't heard it, I don't know if you live under a rock or like I don't know where you live, but clearly not on planet Earth because it is amazing. It's amazing. Okay, that's first of all. You need to go watch it. Uh, turn this video off now in case we spoil alert anything, and I don't want to spoil anything for you. You need every surprise that comes your way from watching this video, this uh, television show. So turn this off now. We appreciate the love. Make sure you subscribe. Turn the video off now. Okay. Uh, this show is amazing. It's a family drama. It comes on NBC. They just finished the season um, finale maybe one or two weeks ago. Actually, like last week. It was last week. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. It is it's about wonderful. a couple who are they're pregnant with tr uh, triplets. They lose a kid. They end up adopting a kid. And then it just parallels. It's actually like paralleling two different times. The time period of present day with the kids as adults. And it parallels back in the day of the couple like the as growing up. Yeah, growing up and in their relationship. And I have to say that I usually don't like flashbacks. But um, I usually don't, but the way they do it, right. it makes sense. So like they'll, they'll, we'll be in present day and then they'll flash back to make present day make sense. Exactly. And you understand how it's affected the, their children right. or a situation that's right. going on. And so I think that that's what's great. And the couples they chose are, are amazing. They are so sweet. Like I love uh, Mandy Moore and I can't think of the actor's name. Milo I love, something. I love their, and I absolutely adore Randall and his wife. Beth. Beth. Oh, my favorite part, I'm, I'm going to spoil this, but it's not really a big deal, um, was when he came with that uh, blingy shirt. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she was like, that shirt, I don't like that shirt. Babe, I love you. I don't love the shirt. Yeah. And he was like, I understand. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I understand. But she's like, I love you, babe. And then she stopped. Like, she's walking out and she was like, I love you, babe. I just don't love the shirt. And uh, it was just like. So real. They're actually my favorite couple because a lot of times, Randall and Beth, they're my favorite couple because a lot of times when you see black couples black families portrayed on television especially on shows like NBC or you know and it's primarily a white show but it has this black couple black women are made a caricature yeah we're loud we're ghetto we're and like she speaks she's really softly but, gets her point but through. she is so real yeah she's so like she's still authentic in the fact that she is a black woman but they didn't make her an exaggeration they didn't make her caricature like a lot yeah. of the stuff that she says and does i'm like i would do that i, I would was, say it like that. honestly she reminds she did remind me of you a little she's bit she's my she's because, my because because when a situation arises she has her husband's back but at the end of the day she doesn't one it doesn't have to be known yep. that mm -hmm. she did that mm -hmm. Two, it's the way she comes about it and um, she makes people accountable and she's supportive and protective. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And I, I just love that about her. Love her. Did it. And I, I, the show is amazing because it's number amazing. one, it's not about drama. Like, you know, drama. drama. Yeah. 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 Um, it, there's drama in it, but it's not the drama. Yeah, it and is a drama, but it's not a drama filled show. Yes. And it's not like a soap. Nope. You know what I mean? Like it's it's not it's just um it's just, just people real. living. And I think I know personally I'm tired of seeing, you know, certain shows that are over the top that portray us as being ghetto or that is primarily a black show or primarily mm -hmm, a mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I, I think that's why I don't really watch a lot of the other shows, but this one just kind of blends everything together and just talks about life. life. It is a show about life in the most honest portrayal I've seen yeah. in a long time. Time. And I honestly think that's the success of the show. That's why so many people are, tuning, are in. tuning in and it has become this phenomenal hit because it's just about life. It is. So the show is amazing. You guys should watch it. It Absolutely comes on it. Tuesdays, NBC. What's the time? I think it comes on at 9. If not, Hulu has But actually, it. the season's over. You need to go to Hulu. Oh, that's right. Um, go to Hulu or to the NBC app. I think they have it there. Don't quote me on that. I don't know how long the app is running the show. Go to Hulu. Hulu will absolutely have it. These are our February favorites. Hope you guys enjoy them. We'll be sure to have all of the products listed in the description box below. below. Don't forget to follow us on social media. I am Deandra Giselle on all social media. Miss Kev on stage and on the gram. 
And? And Melissa Fredericks on Facebook, child, if you want to follow me on there. <laughs> um, be sure to follow us and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like, comment, subscribe. We read all your comments and thank you so much for commenting. Until next time, bye.